Yo, what's going on everybody, this is Rockin' here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be making a very highly requested video and that is how I do my colour corrections for my edits and montages. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use the plugin called Magic Bullet Looks and going over all the presets that I use, how to colour correct and colour grade your video. Just before we get started, I'd like to say I've made several other tutorials all revolving around Valorant montages and edits or gaming edits in general. So if you want to go check any of them out, go check out my tutorials playlist which will be linked in the top right corner right now as well as the end card on this video and with a link in the description. Okay, so for this method you're going to need a plugin called magic bullet looks i'll leave the link to this website down in the description and basically what the plugin does is it allows you to customize the look of your clips add presets customize these presets and make your clips look the best they can be unfortunately the plugin is quite expensive you can buy it just on its own for 399 dollars just a one-time fee or you can subscribe for 419 dollars a year and you get the entire magic bullet suite which is all of these different plugins if you don't want to pay basically 400 dollars for magic bullet looks magic bullet film does a pretty similar job so I recommend you go and check out some videos on that instead and that's only 200. Um, it just doesn't have as much customizability and effects as Looks does but you can achieve a similar result just using that. However there is a free trial for Magic Bullet Looks so feel free to go download that and test it out before you decide if you want to purchase it or not. And then once you've downloaded that you're going to want to install it Restart Premiere Pro or After Effects depending on which program you're using or if you didn't have them open already load them up and then we'll move on to our next steps. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do it on both After Effects and Premiere Pro. The process of actually creating the colour correction is exactly the same on both of them. So I'm just going to show you how to apply the effect on each of them and then when it actually comes to customising it I'll just show you on After Effects but the process is exactly the same. Okay so we're going to start off with After Effects. Okay so once you've installed the plugin you're going to drag your clip onto your timeline into a composition. Then come over to the effects and presets, search for looks, and you'll see RG Magic Bullet looks. You're going to drag that onto your clip, and you can see it's applied. And then all you've got to do is come up to edit, and it's going to load up this screen where you'll be able to customize. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. If you're on Premiere Pro, it's exactly the same. You just drag your clip into the project bin, right click, new secrets from clip, get loaded up onto your timeline. You're then going to come over into the effects tab, go over to effects, search for looks scroll down and you'll see again RG Magic Bullet looks drag that on hit edit look and you're back in the exact same place that you would be on After Effects. So from this point onwards I'm going to show you on After Effects however if you're using Premiere Pro it doesn't make a difference it's exactly the same so make sure you keep watching. So now you're going to want to hit edit under looks in your effect controls and it's going to load it up like this. If your Magic Bullet looks opens up like this you're just going to want to come over to where the looks panel is click it and then that will pop out this window where you can scroll through all of the presets. Under look you'll see all these presets that come pre-installed with the plugin. So you can click through them and you'll see all these little previews of what your clip would look like if you were to apply this preset. So you can see here versus if I hover over it, it applies it to the clip and you can just cycle through all of these and find some that you like. There's many different ones, all they're all split into different categories. So depending on what kind of effect you're going for, they'll be organized accordingly. So if we go into color play, for example, and apply this one called Sky Dance, you can see there's all these different effects that are down at the bottom. And if there's something on it which you want to change slightly, for example, you want to make this gradient at the top a different color, you can come over to the right side over where the controls are and you can adjust the colors just by dragging this wheel around. This would be exactly the same for all of these effects. In the description of the video you'll find a link to download a folder containing 10 of my most used custom presets which you can install and use on your montages and edits. In order to get these presets come up to the top of the window click this little settings icon and click where it says view presets folder and then that should open up like this. Then you'll be in this folder under looks builder and looks and you may have a custom folder you may not have a folder at all that doesn't really matter it's just because i've installed some before and then you're going to want to head down into my description and download the rocklands magic bullet looks preset zip folder and drop it into this looks folder as you can see it's in here you then just want to open it up drag this folder out to extract it and then delete the zip and you're good to go. Now when you go back into Magic Bullet Looks, you're just going to close out, hit edit again, and now along the left hand side under custom looks, you'll see Rockland's Magic Bullet Looks presets, and you'll see these 10 which I've provided you with, which are my most commonly used custom presets. So if you hover over them, you can see uh, the effect that they have on the clip. And then just like any preset, you'll just click on it and it will apply it. And you can come down to the bottom and customize the effects like this, you know, drag the curves around, change diffusion colors, do all sorts of things that you may want to change with the preset. If you want to make your own custom presets and customize it to exactly how you want to look, you can come over to here where it says tools in the bottom right, click that, 
and on the right hand side you'll see all of these different tools. To close this panel over here so it gives you a bit more preview space you can just click this down here and it will move out of the way. Now along the bottom you'll see subject, mat, lens, camera and post and these are the different categories which you have down here. So in order to add a filter you're just going to grab it and drag it down into the corresponding category. So for example exposure can go in subject, it can also go in mat, lens, camera and post. It doesn't matter which one you put it in um, but the ones along the bottom you'll see some can only go in a certain one. For example with post you can't put shoulder in anything other than camera or post so just make sure that the one that you're dragging in is in these categories along the bottom so for example with subject if I was to drag exposure on I can then click it close out of the tools and you'll see here the controls or I can change the stops which will adjust how intense it is I can also add other effects so if I wanted to add a wanted to add a LUT for example I can drag that onto subject as well close it out go into the controls and I can choose one of the preset LUTs which are already on here and that will just give me a starting point and I can also adjust the strength of it as well and you're just going to want to work your way through all of the different effects over here dragging them onto your clips basically build a look that you're happy with some of the effects which I recommend the most are exposure obviously that changes the brightness of your clip essentially I also recommend four-way color as that allows you to bring four different colors into each section of the video so for example in the shadows I could make them blue the midtones could be red and the highlights could be green that's a hideous color combination but if you wanted to do that you could do and it just adds a much more cinematic look to the video as well as having master control which would be basically an overall color hue that will be applied to the whole image another one which I recommend is curves which is much the same as you can apply normally in After Effects or Premiere Pro it just adds it to your magic bullet looks preset and you can control the different parts of the of the curve using these sliders over here so this is the master one this is going to be the highlights this is going to be the midtones and this is going to be the shadows or you can just grab the curve and drag it yourself and create a look that you're happy with another one which i recommend is called chromatic aberration if you drag that on you'll be able to create sort of like a 3d effect so if you drag this back you can see it changes the red you can move the green forwards and the and the blue and yellow and it creates this sort of effect where it's separating the colors from each other and another one is a lut which if you drag that on there's different presets on here which you can use which will basically just give you a really nice start point to add other effects on top of. Under matte you can add something called a color filter which I recommend and that allows you to just add an overall shade to the image which is very simple yet effective as well as something like diffusion which will just diffuse the image more so if I increase the grade on this you can see it becomes softer I can increase the size of it as well and in certain scenarios this can just add a bit more depth to your clip. Under lens there's effects like exposure and chromatic aberration like we've used before as well as things like lens vignette which is really really cool and it basically creates this this uh, black outline like you would get from a lens on a camera and you can increase the size of it by dragging this as well as the amount by using this slider here which will make it darker around the edges or brighter around the edges. If you ever want to turn an effect off temporarily so you can see what kind of effect it's having there's this little stop icon in the top right of the effect on the panel down here which you can click and that will turn it off temporarily and basically hide it and then you can put it back on just to see what sort of effect it's having. Under camera I recommend the effect called film negative if you drag that on it gives you all of these different effects which are designed for these different film stocks but I believe I think it creates a cool effect when you use it on your gameplay clips so if you just cycle through them you can find ones that you that you like and they do similar to what a LUT does where they give you a nice starting point and then you just work upwards from that and then there's an effect called a re called renoiser which is under camera and also under post which if you drag that on it just gives you the ability to add noise back to your clip which is quite cool if you're trying to create like a VHS sort of effect or something like that and that's pretty much it for all of the effects which I recommend you apply of course there's several other ones on there which you can play around with and basically just get to the point that you're happy with however most of the time all I'm doing is coming over and applying one of my presets or one of the pre-installed presets and then just adjusting them down here accordingly some presets won't look good on every clip so depending on the map that you're playing on uh, depending on what you're doing in the clip certain ones will look better than others which is why you'll see in my edits depending on which map I'm playing or depending on what's going on you'll see a different preset being applied but it's pretty much all down to your personal taste. Download the ones I put in the description or use the pre-installed ones and play around with them until you get them to a point that you're happy with. And then once you've got a preset that you're happy with, you're just gonna hit the tick down here and it will apply it in your preview window as you can see and it applies it to the entire clip. If you ever want to go back and change it, you can just go straight back up to edit, apply a different preset, tick, and you'll see it then applies that one instead. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. I did use a plugin which is quite expensive, so if you would like a free version of this tutorial where I show you how to color correct your footage just using free methods in After Effects and Premiere Pro, then please let me know by leaving a comment on the video and liking it. Subscribe for future tutorials, check out my other tutorials as well as my montages and edits for any inspiration, and other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video.